Hello. Welcome to Utah Stories Reader Comments. My name is Richard Marcosian. Thanks for joining us. This is our April issue of Utah Stories called Wellness Examined, where our feature story was written by Caroline Kingsley Larson, and it was entitled Utah's Depression Paradox, illustrations by Chris Bodley. Now, what we did in this story is the type of thing I love to do more than anything else with Utah Stories. Um, we examined a topic that completely goes under the radar of the mainstream media, which is the depression paradox in Utah. By that, I mean Utah is considered the happiest, one of the happiest states in the country. It's also one of the most healthy states in the country, but it's also one of the most depressed states in the country and has one of the highest incidences for suicide in the entire country. So we examined this topic many times at Utah Stories in a lot of different issues. This time we take the angle of examining the question of how and why. Why are people depressed in Utah? Um, Caroline del delved into the problem of perfection and creating facades of perfection. Nobody is perfect and if you try to portray yourself as being perfect, you're basically going to become depressed because you're going to have to be a phony. And nobody likes being around phonies. And I'm not blaming the Mormon church for that, but everybody wants to be accepted for their flaws and for their warts. And anybody who is attempting to create the impression that they are some kind of perfect person is not going to be, first of all, well liked. Um, they're not going to have a ton of friends. And you're not going to be someone people want to come to with their problems. So present yourself how you are, first of all. And second of all, which I'm going to go into with the reader comments. So this was April. This is May. This is our current issue. It's the coffee issue going to read a couple of comments we received from readers. Um, Judy Clapperich Larson said, basically she was told that she needed to pray and read more scriptures to treat depression, her depression. And that treatment is often stigmatized. And I'm really sorry to hear that, but if you're ever unable to get out of bed in the morning, if, you, if the first thing you feel like doing when you come home from work is going to sleep, not seeing people, if you start exhibiting sort of antisocial behaviors, get treatment, get help from professionals. That's her basic message. I completely agree with you, Judy, and thank you for sending that comment. John Tucker says, basically, uh, meditation and exercise are excellent ways to deal with depression. Um, he also says basically that depression is often the diagnosis for sadness. Now there's a big difference between sadness or a bout of sadness or mourning and depression. And too often patients are going in to see their doctors, they're telling them they're sad and their doctors are giving them a depressed antidepressant or patients are asking for that antidepressant by name. Now you've probably heard of Paxil, Zoloft, Wellbutrin. Um, there's a host of other ones. These are SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. I just wanna go over what those are and what they do to your brain. Um, because your brain naturally dumps serotonin all day long. Especially when you are exercising, when you, um, have a good thing happen to you, and when you just have natural happiness occurring. These SSRIs prevent the reuptake of this, uh, this serotonin, keeping you more at an even keel throughout the day. The reason they're so harmful is it's altering your brain's chemistry, making you less able to deal with um, actual sadness in the natural way your brain is able to deal with it. I feel like, I don't wanna go into it too much, but if you can deal with these problems, 
using natural remedies, exercising, spending time with your dog, spending time with your animals, your relatives, your loved ones, going out, enjoying the sunshine, gardening, going to the mountains, you're gonna become a stronger person when you're going through these down periods in your life. Everybody has bad life experiences that are hard to deal with. You just need to handle them in the correct way. Um, I love getting your comments. I'm making this video because I feel like the readers, you readers out there, you're actually my friends, and I, I just totally appreciate your support of our little magazine, Utah Stories. And if you have more comments, leave them below. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.